Many of you have asked why I don't believe in the rusting theory of aging. Many of you have asked why I poo-poo the use of antioxidants and why I suggest the use of vitamins A, C, what's E, for example, not as antioxidants, which they're always being touted as antioxidants, that's a minor function, but for whatever good they do in and of themselves, like building of soft connective tissue with C, like helping the eye with A, okay? I don't like antioxidants, and I don't buy into the theory of the body rusting itself into old age. Life is an oxidative process. We were taught in rhetoric that if you take any proposition to its extreme, you can show the fallacy of that proposition. If you take it to, it to its extreme and it doesn't sound silly, then it's okay. If you take it to its extreme and it sounds silly, stupid, and like something you really wouldn't want to do, then the proposition is not valid. Here's the proposition. The world's greatest antioxidant, is it vitamin C, is it vitamin E, it isn't reservatrol, it isn't whatever. It's carbon monoxide. So do you wrap your lips around a tailpipe and breathe in deeply to get healthy? You don't, do you? We are an oxidative process being. If we cut back on the oxidative processes, even the ones that are supposedly free radicals, you know, without free radicals of oxygen, your liver wouldn't detox. All you folks are on constant detox because you think you need to detox from this and detox from that. If you're taking antioxidants, you're inhibiting your liver's ability to detoxify itself because it uses free radicals of oxygen to kill off nasty stuff and detoxify yourself. The free radicals of oxygen kill the germs in your bloodstream and in your tissues. So what happens to your immunity when you lower your ability? to use your own free radicals of oxygen to kill the germs you're exposed to. But here's the clincher. University of Copenhagen. The Europeans don't fudge their studies usually. Well, the Brits do. They get paid to. Just like the Americans do. They get paid to. So, about 2,000 journal published studies in the American and in the British journals get retracted every year because they're invalid, they've been found to be false. But in general, the Asian and the Central, Northern, Eastern European studies are all valid because they don't have big pharma paying them to come up with self-fulfilling conclusions. Okay, University of Copenhagen, Center for Metabolism and Department of Biology. They found that reservatrol blunts reverses the effects, the positive effects, of exercise training on cardiovascular health in men. If it'll do that in men, it'll do it in women. If it'll do it in aged men, it'll do it in middle-aged men, it'll do it in younger men. So, they divided groups of men into guys who were doing cardiovascular exercise and taking Reservatrol, and guys who were doing cardiovascular exercise and not taking Reservatrol. They expected the Reservatrol side to be better off. Surprise, surprise! Guess what happened? No exercise benefit in the Reservatrol group. Increases in cardiovascular output, increases in vital capacity of the lungs, increases in the way the blood carries oxygen, greater muscular strength in the non reserve trawl group. They're both doing the same sets of exercise, doing the exact same workout. And this study was actually carried out more than once, if I remember correctly, reading the abstract because they didn't believe it the first time. So they did it again with a whole separate group of folks. My take on the antioxidants. Remember, the strongest antioxidant in the world is carbon monoxide. It's also the cheapest. You don't have to spend it. Tons of money on Reservatrol. Hell, just turn on your car and pump the gas into your living room. But if you don't want to be stupid, stop taking the 
super high potency antioxidants for their antioxidant value. Keep on taking the vitamin C. Keep on taking the vitamin E. You know, without vitamin E, there is no sex. De Vries and uh, Thomas Curitan proved that back in the 1960s. Without vitamin C, your teeth will begin to fall out after your hair falls out and your gums will bleed and you won't have any connective tissue. Don't take them for their antioxidant effects. Take them because they're necessary to build your body. But these highfalutin antioxidants like Reservatrol. Now, Reservatrol comes from wine. And there was a study done years ago, which I forget, on the estrogen levels in wine, which are significantly higher than those in beer, for all of us beer lovers, all of us beer lovers. Since Reservatrol comes from wine, does that estrogen level get transferred to the Reservatrol? No one ever answered that. And every time I asked the question, the people who should have known got strangely quiet. Another reason not to take the junk. But the primary reason, if you're trying to get healthy, if you're trying to get stronger, if you're trying to do exercise, we know that at least one of the highfalutin antioxidants will undo what you're trying to do. Can you imagine something that blunts, that stops your adaptation to exercise? Exercise is a stimulus response mechanism. You provide the stimulus, the body responds by getting stronger. Somehow Reservatrol nixes that response. If it nixes that response, what other responses is it nixing? I'll leave you with that thought. Be well and God bless. I'm Dr. Will Wong.